So recently I've been having a lot of videos about the demon realm and the inhabitants of it, the Makaioshin, the demons, and the overall Dragon Ball cosmology. Now a long time ago, Goku went to the demon realm. And on this video I want to have a discussion about that, the actual story behind the story and how it may tie into what the demon realm would become and how it may have inspired Toriyama for ideas that would come later in the series. So let's go back and talk about Dragon Ball. Hey, this is Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z. You're listening and watching Geek Number 101. And if you haven't already subscribed, then look at these links and do so. <laughs> so when you're adapting a manga to an anime, a lot of times you're going to get filler. And some of the filler in anime is great. It's fun, it helps expand the story. Some of it is not so great and kind of boring. It's a case by case thing. When it came to Dragon Ball, there were some very interesting episodic filler episodes that took place before the 22nd tournament and after the Red Ribbon Army arc that covered Goku's strange adventures into parts of the world that weren't inhabited by mortals as often as you would think. And I'm talking about Dragon Ball episodes 79 to 83. These were anime only filler, but the one I want to put a spotlight on is episode 81, Goku Makayaiku, which translates to Goku Goes to the Demon Realm, which was written by K. Shusui. And while the events are not in the manga and not the original pen from Toriyama, it may have influenced Toriyama or maybe Toriyama influenced it. So in this episode, Goku goes to what's called the Village of Fiends. And when it becomes nighttime, these fiends appear from what is called the demon realm gate which is supposed to be a doorway a portal so to speak that connects the earth to the demon realm now if you watch my video on the demon realm you know that the demon realm and hell are two completely different things although they have some similar properties the demon realm exists in the living world and was created by a band of wizards most notably demigra in the dragon ball video games help create it and it's not part of the afterlife you also know that the demon realm exists in a plane beneath the universe it's like the opposite or the negative of the universe and we don't know if it's just universe 7 or the other universes but we know it exists for sure in universe 7 so in the episode we see a character that was created just for this episode princess misa and she gets kidnapped by a demon from the demon world so after avoiding the traps that were set in the village to stop demons goku meets Princess Misa's parents, the king and the queen of the village, and they want Goku to help find their missing daughter. And after being impressed by Goku's combat ability, pits him against the leader of the demons, Shula. Now, it's never said that Shula is the king or the god of the demon realm. We know that the Makayo Shin are the gods and that Dabura is the king, but we'll talk about that more later. But it does say he's the leader of the demons, but it's implied that he's the leader of just this band of demons who seem to be causing problems for these people. So Goku enters the gate of the demon realm and he is warned ahead of time, be careful fighting Shula because he wants to marry the princess. And Shula is a very potent martial arts master. So what happens is they have like a little mini tournament where Goku ends up fighting Shula and ends up rescuing the princess by using a Kamehameha to blind the demon and then rescuing and escaping with the girl. Goku would save the day even further by pulling out Shula's sword and sealing the portal and thus the villagers would live happily ever after without worry of any kind of demonic intervention so to speak now what i find really interesting about all this is that this is an episode where you need to see it in japanese because they actually mention kamisama and enmadayo or enmasama which is king yema these are two characters that would not even be thought up by toriyama until several arcs later and the same goes for the demon realm this episode is, in my opinion, crucial to what would happen later on in the manga because the episode sort of predates a lot of these concepts being introduced into Dragon Ball before Toriyama could really fine-tune them. Now, we know for sure that Toriyama watched the Dragon Ball anime. We know that he watched it with his kids and that he was a fan of it, 
but we don't know what his involvement was in this episode. We know that Toriyama has submitted several ideas to the anime for filler episodes, like the Princess Snake episode, the bird on Fire Mountain was also drawn by Toriyama, so he does have some involvement in the filler, but we don't know if he actually has involvement in this particular episode, but if he doesn't, could it be that Toriyama took inspiration from this episode to create his cosmology later on in the series to create his god hierarchy or at least kind of plant the seed for what would become the god hierarchy all based on a filler episode in Dragon Ball? You have to remember that the word Makai is used quite a bit in Japanese and the demon realm concept is used in tons of fiction over there, manga, anime. So what's most likely the situation is that Toriyama probably came up with the idea of Dabura and the demon realm totally separate from this but it's still kind of interesting to link these two together but I feel like we need more evidence before we can actually say that Toriyama was inspired by this filler so again this is one of those mysteries in Dragon Ball that may never get an answer but I still find really interesting that these concepts were introduced so early in this story and would become part of the manga later on. If you are new to Geekdom 101, remember to subscribe and check out this episode in Japanese if you've never seen it before. I actually like the Dragon Ball filler more than the Dragon Ball Z filler. There are tons of really interesting adventures that Goku goes on that I think were really creative for its time and a lot of real introspection. So check that out. Thank you for checking out this video and I'll talk to y'all next time.